So another pretty neat thing you can do in um, on shape uh, is uh, you can assign the material to your part. So this is just a bracket that we made for um, just a random kind of task in in the class, and uh, you know typically it's going to print out in um, a kind of plastic material out of our 3D printer. But um, we can actually go on to part one over here and right click. And we see up here it says assign material. When we choose that, come down to the drop down menu, and you can see there are many, 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 many um, materials like aluminum, lots of different aluminums, lots of woods, and brass. Uh, I'm just going to say we're going to make this out of gold. And um, so that's kind of neat. We can find out what if we made this out of gold. Um, you could have, but you could have assigned any of those, um, you know, any of those materials. And uh, now that we've assigned this part, uh, that material, we can actually find out if we made this bracket out of gold, what would it weigh? When we click on the part, sometimes it's a little sketchy, but we should see down here this little scale and if we click on that it's going to tell us a bunch of information about our uh, our part. Now this is a really little part and it would have weighed uh, 0.457 pounds uh, if we made it out of gold. Um, let's just see if we can assign the material and what if we change that to aluminum there's a bunch of kinds of aluminum. I'm just going to say the first one they said here. And say check. Go back down. Find our scale. A lot less. Only 0 0.06 of a pound. Um, so, uh, pretty simple. Right click. Assign material. You can pick pretty much anything, um, uh, many, many materials to pick from. Once you do that and then select your part, uh, you should see this scale down here. Click on the scale. You can see the mass, the volume, surface area, uh, a lot of different stuff. Um, pretty neat. So that's assigning a material and finding.